In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your skin look really smooth and soft as if it were airbrushed. I'll show you how. So this takes a couple of techniques and a few layers, but it's relatively simple and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing we want to do is set up a folder and we're going to call it airbrush. Now we want to take our background and duplicate it and we'll call this blur. Go ahead and throw that in the airbrush folder. Now we're going to go to filter, blur, surface blur. Now I've already set up the dimensions to which I want this picture to be. For this particular one it's 9 pixels with a threshold of 14 levels. Basically the goal is to make it so the skin is blurred but details like the eyes are left relatively untouched as you can see right there it's really not that bad in fact I'll take it down to seven and drop the threshold just a little bit there we go that's good press OK and now what I want to do is create a new layer and I want to make sure that it's above the blur layer I'm gonna call this texture and I'm gonna change the blend mode on it to hard light Now what I want to do is go to Edit, Fill, and uh, under Contents, make sure it says 50% gray with the blending mode at normal, opacity 100%, and press OK. Seemingly this does nothing, but it will. It allows us to add textural elements such as noise, which I'm going to do right now. We're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And you really want it to be very, very small. Uh, 2% is what I have it here, and keep the distribution at Gaussian. Press OK. This is going to add a little bit of texture to the skin. Now we're going to go back to Filter. We're going to grab Blur and Gaussian Blur. And keep it at 1 pixel. That way it still has its texture, but it gets rid of the little pieces of noise that we saw. Press OK. Now what we want to do is sample a piece of the skin that is relatively normal. You can see that her cheeks are really flushed out. We don't want to sample that. We want to sample a more normal part of her skin. So right about there should be fine. And the foreground color changes it for me. Now under color, I want to go to the flyout menu and click on HSB sliders. Normally it's going to be on RGB, but because I've already done this before, it's already on HSB. Now I want to go to hue and saturation. Uh, you can use the shortcut for that by pressing command and control and press U and make sure the colorize option is clicked. Don't worry about the fact that it's going crazy over here. Now press OK. Now we want to hide all this. So we press airbrush and we go to layer, layer mask, hide all. And we're back to square one, but that's OK. It's all still there. Now what we want to do is grab the brush tool, press D on your keyboard to get the foreground and background colors to their default settings. And what I want you to do is set your brush at a, at a good enough size, depending on where you are painting around your face, and set the hardness anywhere from 30 to 50%. You're probably going to have to change this on a regular basis, though, depending on the uh, part of the image you're working on. And just start painting in. I know it looks ridiculous right now, but don't worry about it. It's We want this to happen. So just bear with me while I get this done. So make sure that the texture layer is selected, and we're going to go back to hue and saturation, command U. You want to change the hue so it better matches your skin tone. And you want to gen generally drop the saturation by a lot. So just find wherever that balance is. Right there looks about right. And drop the saturation even more. There we go. That's pretty good. And change around the lightness just a little bit so it doesn't bl so it blends in better with the rest of her skin. I brightened it a little bit because she's a little on the pale side, but that's fine. I press OK, and now we're going to restore the skin details. We're going to go to Image, Apply Image, and uh, we're going to make sure that the layer is merged. The channel is red, 
because red usually holds the least amount of detail. And we're going to change the blending mode to exclusion. Normally it would be on multiply, but in this case that doesn't work. So exclusion is the best bet. And press OK. And there you go. She's Her skin is very nicely airbrushed and definitely has a, uh, a softer quality about it. So here's what it looks like with the airbrushing and without. With, without. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So that's with and without. Gets rid of a lot of the pores and just definitely makes the skin a lot smoother. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or comments regarding the touch-ups and enhancements series of Photoshop, please send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com. And also, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.